Hello and welcome to Stoke Audi. My name is Ben and today I'll be showing you around this brand new Audi Q5 2 litre 45 TFSI Sport Quattro with the S-Tronic automatic gearbox. This particular Q5 does come finished in the florette silver paint colour which adds a real premium look to this vehicle. Coming to the front of the vehicle we do have this car's full LED headlights. These really light up those road conditions producing a really nice bright beam and really do light up the roads at night. Making our way around to the side of the vehicle we do have this car's 18 inch 5 twin spoke dynamic design alloy wheels. Being these smaller wheels these do offer a really nice comfortable ride in the Q5 and offer a dynamic look to this car's exterior. Just some more information on this particular Q5 it is the 2 litre 45 petrol engine producing 265 PS and giving a 0 to 62 time from just 6.4 seconds. Coming down the side we see more of that chrome trim around the windows as well as the chrome roof rails above. Making your way around to the rear of the vehicle with the continuation of those LED headlights. And coming to the bottom we have this car's rear parking sensors which work seamlessly with this car's upfront parking sensors and camera system which we'll take a look at later. Opening the powered tailgate is just a simple double click of the button on the keys and it opens up to reveal this car's 520 litres of boot space. That's plenty enough room for those day to day tasks, carrying the pets as well as carrying things like suitcases when we can finally make it abroad again. As you can see the pull handles do fold down the rear seats giving really nice easy access to creating a longer or larger load space. The rear scuff plate to the rear of the vehicle helps protect the back while sliding those larger or longer items inside. Pushing this button to the top closes the powered tailgate automatically and is really helpful for if you're in a rush or need to get out of that typical British weather. Upon opening the driver's side door you are greeted with this car's full premium interior. The front seats are incredibly supportive and comfortable and in this car are finished in the leather material. Helping the driver to find the perfect driving position are the manual adjustment controls for these seats as well as the controls for these seats four way lumbar support. This gives the driver a load of customization in the seat's positioning and again helps them to find that perfect driving position. From the driver's perspective we can see this car's full leather multifunction steering wheel which does contain the controls for the multimedia systems. The cruise control stalk which is really helpful on those longer motorway journeys giving your foot a rest from the accelerator pedal. And the paddle shift is giving the driver a sportier feel behind the wheel. This Q5 does feature Audi's virtual cockpit display. This allows the driver to customise what is shown on the screen using the buttons that are located on the steering wheel. And as you can see, you can scroll through many different menu options, including changing the radio, mobile phone connectivity, the car's settings and information, as well as getting a nice full screen view of the satellite navigation system. Moving over to this car's intuitive MMI touchscreen display, we can select from options like the DAB radio, which does come with a great choice of radio stations to choose from. This car's full satellite navigation system with easy to use multi-touch and gesture controls, making it really easy to navigate around the map. We have the Audi Smartphone Connect with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, allowing you to mirror your phone screen onto the display and gain access to many of your smartphone's applications, things like streaming music, as well as hands-free calls. This car does also feature the Audi Drive Select system. This being a Quattro model, we do get the off-road setting, as well as things like efficient, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual driving styles. Coming back into the car's menu, we can change options like the brightness of this car's interior lighting, 
as well as changing the volume on the front and rear parking sensors. Coming down further below, we do have the controls for this car's three-zone climate control system. The digital dials make it really nice and easy to change the temperature in the vehicle, while the buttons to the middle allow you to change the fan intensity, the fan direction, as well as the air conditioning mode. To either side, we do have the controls for the two front heated seats. These are perfect for those cold British mornings, keeping you nice and warm along your journey. And pressing these multiple times will change the intensity as well as turning them back off again. Pushing this button here or putting the car into reverse will automatically activate those front and rear parking sensors as well as bring up this car's rear view camera. This gives a fantastic view to the rear of the vehicle and these all together are especially helpful if you haven't had a vehicle of this size before. As you can see the displayed orange lines give an indication of where the car is turning and it's really helpful when parking in those parking spaces. We also have the hill descent control assist, which is perfect when doing a bit of off-roading. This keeps you at a constant speed when going down steep hills. Coming down below again, we do have a 12 volt power socket as well as a USB-A port. This is perfect for keeping those media devices nice and charged, especially when using them with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. While the 12 volt power socket allows you to use many different in-car accessories. We also have the engine stop start button to the opposite side. A small cubby hole for the keyless go keys. And this car's automatic S-Tronic gearbox with the electronic parking brake. Just to the left, the audio control dial in this vehicle does allow you to change volume and track without needing to take your eyes off the road. Just by the driver's armrest, we do have two cup holders for keeping your drinks nice and steady whilst on the move. And located under the driver's armrest, we do have a nice little cubby hole space, which also contains a USB-C port, which is again perfect for keeping those media devices nice and charged on those longer journeys. The rear of this Q5 is just as comfortable as the front and is finished in the same leather material. To the bottom of the seats we also have the child isofix anchor points. This allows you to easily install a child car seat. The rear passengers also benefit from a central armrest. This can easily be folded away should you need to use that rear middle seat. Turning around and going to the centre, we do have the controls for that third zone of the climate control setting, allowing the back passengers to set their perfect temperature, as well as just below that another 12 volt power socket, which can be used to keep those kids' devices nice and charged, especially on those longer journeys. This ensures they are always kept nice and entertained. So thank you for coming on a tour of this brand new Audi Q5. If you would like any more information on this particular vehicle, please don't hesitate to give our team a call on 01782 488 205. Thank you.